All right, welcome to this video. We're going to be working out how to find Creative Commons licensed open resources on the various famous platforms. We're going to look at YouTube, we're going to look at Flickr, and we're going to look at Open Clipart. All right, let's start off with YouTube. And to begin any of these processes, you really need to do the search. So in this case, I'm going to be looking for a particular African statesman. Uh, I'm looking for Krame and Kruma. Um, I'm interested in some speeches. Perhaps I'm preparing a history lesson. And uh, once you enter your search term in the search field, it will provide you with, in this case, 6,530 results. However, I'm looking for creative commons, so um, open licenses. So I go to the filter and um, I have a look what's available and you'll see in the fourth column there is one called creative commons. So if I click on there, it will now filter these results and provide only those that have um, an open license. So I'm going to go with the first one. Let's have a look if it's any good. Let's go back into history again and relate to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, one of Ghana's illustrious leaders and founding fathers. And he's not only remembered as Ghana's first prime minister and president, but also a renowned orator and writer. In this report, we take a look at some of the outstanding speeches by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. And this looks very encouraging. And if I want to uh, check, uh, is this something that I could use? Uh, without asking for permission or without having to pay subscriptions, you'll see that the license is Creative Commons Attribution, which means reuse is allowed. Right, now we want some photographs to go with our particular video, uh, perhaps as part of a lesson. So we're going to look for Nkrumah again. This time we're looking for uh, pictures in Flickr, flickr.com. Uh, same idea, when you're on the front page, go to the search area. Uh, in this case, I'm going to continue to look for my statesman. And uh, let's search the photos and see what it comes up with. Okay, and currently it's looking for all photographs in the database, in the Flickr archive uh, but that's no good we want only those open resources so if we click on any license you see there's a little um, drop down arrow and we can say show us all the creative commons photographs okay and now we can see that we've got a considerably fewer but there are some here that we could uh, potentially use um, most of them come from the particular memorial park in Accra, um, but yes, uh, let's have a look at this one, for example. This looks good. Right, and if we scroll down now, we can see what the, um, the Creative Commons is. In this case, it is some rights reserved. It is attribution. Um, obviously, now we can uh, use the download button and decide what particular size we would like. Right, so we've got a video, we have, uh, we've got the audio of the speeches, uh, we have a number of photographs from the uh, Memorial Park, uh, but now on our worksheet, let's say we need to um, put in some maps and some flags and so on. So to do that, I'm going to use openclipart.org. The nice thing about this site is you don't have to worry about the licenses. Um, they are actually all Creative Commons zero licenses or public domain is another way of saying it. So basically we can use anything we find here without having to actually ask for permission or pay subscriptions or anything like that. All right, so um, straight away I go to the search. In this case, I'm looking for uh, uh, Ghana. And uh, let's see what they come up with in terms of clip art. So I click on the go search. And we have, we've got some flags, we've got some maps, we've even got um, the soccer team's emblem. Um, and I think I'm going to go for this very first one. So click on the link, the flag map. 
and uh, here's some information about it and if I scroll down I got some download options I can either download a large medium or small version of this um, item or if I want I could actually take the uh, URL using these items on the left um, in my case I'm just going to go for the big image and uh, my machine is asking me to save it I can save it and then I can say open and there we have um, downloaded a free map flag of the country Ghana